<laughs> All right, guys, so we're here with a special guest, uh, my wife Kate here, and she just came on to help us out with this video, so I'm really excited about it. Let's go ahead and we'll jump right in. All right, so we were talking earlier a little bit about things that um, could help other people in building their channel, and one of the first things that we talked about um, was planning your content. Um, and so one of the number one things that I think that all creators could agree on when making videos is it's very important just kind of have a layout when you're making your content and everything about that, just to make sure that when you're putting out that content that it is just um, easy for the viewers uh, to understand what's going on. So earlier we talked about um, research and do you mind telling us a little bit about that? So you want to know your content before you get in front of the camera. So I would suggest Googling um, whatever you want to make your video about, just getting all your facts together, making sure that you know what you're talking about before you start filming. Um, and then I would also suggest YouTubing um, the same type of stuff. Just make sure that you watch other people's videos that are doing the same type of thing and following other YouTubers that are making the same type of content that you make. Now, you do want to keep it personalized to yourself, so you don't want to copy anybody else, but you just want to make sure that you are inspired by what they're doing while keeping it original. Okay, um, definitely want to keep everything original. Um, one of the number one things I would say hopping into the next tip that I think that we might have is planning a time limit for your actual content that you're putting out. Um, and so I think this is one of the things that is very often left um, out of the planning stage in making videos for YouTube is just kind of turning on the camera and just kind of going and going and going for hours on end. And then you end up having a 30 minute long video when in reality it could be a 10 minute video and still get the same um, point across. Um, so with that, I think you had a couple of things that you want to share with thoughts on this? Yeah, sure. So with that, I would say that something that would really help is to work on execution of your video. So something that I would suggest is making just like bullet points so you make sure that you don't get off track and you don't ramble. And that'll really help with just making sure that you stay on topic, you can stay within like a, a short amount of time and make sure that you're not just rambling on and on and on forever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that um, making sure that every second count um, is imperative to staying within a timely manner on your videos um, so that your content makes the most sense in the quickest amount of time. But I absolutely believe um, what I heard another YouTuber talk about when he was discussing um, how long your video should actually be. And that is that your video should be as long as they need to be, but as short as possible. Um, basically meaning that what you want is you want to be able to say what needs to be said, but you don't want anything extra because when you have a viewer and they're looking up your content, they want to see the content um, that was advertised on your title and they don't really want to see a whole lot of other things in between, especially if your content is based around tutorials um, or anything like that. Um, those are definitely extreme cases of where you want your video to make the most amount of sense in the shortest amount of time. Um, which I just want to go ahead and carry that over into the third tip, which is workflow. So yeah, with talking about workflow, uh, I think it's really important to have a really good idea. So I would suggest like just writing down a list of a ton of ideas that you have and just going through and, you know, kind of figuring out what's going to get the most views. What do people want to see? What would you enjoy creating? Because when it boils down to is a good idea is the foundation for any viral video. Absolutely. And I think that another good thing in workflow is kind of like we touched on earlier with the research of the video, you also want to research um, just your channel in general, um, just kind of uh, what other people are putting into similar channels to the content that you're wanting to create. That way, when you're laying out your workflow, you have a good basis to say, hey, this is what works, this is what doesn't. That way, moving into it, that you, you have just a premeditated, uh, almost like a checklist of what you're doing in that workflow. Yeah, so with that, another thing I would suggest is batching. 
So batching is a great way to create content that'll last longer than just a single post. So batching is basically when you sit down and you have multiple ideas, multiple videos that you want to record in one sitting and you just go through and you can knock a bunch of stuff out rather than you know making a video every day or every other day, which is great. Some people can do that, but batching really helps if you have you know, some other things that you want to do or you're on you know, keeping a good workflow and you just want to sit down and get everything done in one sitting. Yeah, absolutely. And another thing that I would say with batching is I would recommend um, even doing those in two to four increments. That way that once all those are finished recording, you don't have to worry about um, creating more content in the future. You already have those kind of in the vault, um, which also kind of leads up to my next topic and that's uploading. Um, and in this, I would almost consider this like a batch upload in the sense of when you have those multiple streams of videos coming in, um, you can go ahead and upload those as you're editing, even if you aren't ready to um, set those to schedule um, as a public publish. Um, simply meaning that you set those to private, you put those back, that way you, once they're done, they're done. When it's time to upload them uh, for everybody else to see, all you have to do is change that setting over to public. And that simply simplifies everything for you. That way you aren't worried about if you have enough videos in your backlog or having to rush and do a video the night before. All you have to do is even if you're you know, out with friends, eating lunch or something, all you have to do is just go on your phone and hit that and you know, publish as public and everything's done for you. So with that, I think scheduling would also really help. So just keeping a schedule um, for yourself and for your viewers so they know what to expect, when to expect it. You know, if you want to post one time a week, two times a week, whatever your posting schedule is for your channel, um, just keep it consistent. That way, you know, you know when you need to have videos ready and your viewers know when to expect new content from you. Absolutely. I think scheduling is absolutely a very important um, piece in creating a good follower base in this. And so I definitely agree 100%. But guys, I think that just about wraps it up for us today. Um, again, I just want to thank my beautiful wife for coming in and helping me with this video. Hopefully we'll be able to do more of these videos together soon. Um, but guys, as always, if you like this video, be sure and give this video a like. If you love this video, make sure that you give this channel a great big subscribe. And you know, while you're at it, go ahead and turn on that notification bell. That way you know when the new videos go up um, so that we can all just stay in touch. But guys, as always, I love y'all and we'll catch y'all in the next video.